And welcome back to The Colonel Does the Raven Legacy of a Master Thief. And we just escaped our cell. As soon as Constable Zellner and Inspector Legrand are out of danger, I'll slip back into the cell. They'll arrest the good doctor, and hopefully they'll turn a blind eye to a poor stowaway. Before I went to London to become Inch's protege, Alex and I drove through the French Riviera in this convertible. It was a wonderful week, and on the cliffs near Toulon, I asked her to marry me. Ah, but this is no time for reminiscing. There's nothing in the car that might help me. Alex is playing her role as Patricia Mayers, and she can't keep anything suspicious with her. I assume that Deputy Oliver is still standing guard. He inspected the cargo hold this morning. I can't use this exit as long as the deputy's sitting by the door. I have to find another way. Fire still poses a great threat to ships. There are fire alarms, extinguishers, and hoses everywhere nowadays. These hoses are pretty versatile. They'll do at a pinch if you can't smuggle climbing ropes into the building you're planning to rob. Well, the only door that I can see is this one over here. So since he put the hose over there, I'm assuming that's the door we need to go through. Or maybe not. There's a cavity. Huh. A ring set into the floor. You could attach ropes or chains to it. It's set into the floor to keep people from tripping over it. Huh. A ring set into the floor. You could... It's set... No, that won't work. The hose is too wide. Okay. So... What's this? Whoa, heavy. Everything's a bit bigger and heavier on a ship, pulleys included. Use the pulley with the holder. I attached the pulley to the ring. You could hang a car from it if the ship were upside down. <laughs> I attached the pulley to the... Okay. I attached the... So, I've attached the hose to the pulley. He's very messy about it. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to use this for? With... up there? Huh. What's that up there? A grate. Sunlight's shining through it. And above it, a bent pipe. This could be my way out. The bars are welded at four points, and unfortunately, they're not all as rusty as this one. Not a chance. I have to come up with something, and fast. Dr. Gebhardt has the means to get rid of an old man inconspicuously. 
All right. A little bit of a stretch, but that should work. So I've got the hose attached. I've already attached the hose to the bars. Not a chance, and fast. What? What's the hose attached to then? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Use the hose. Attach the hose to the bars. It's already done that. I attached the pulley to the ring. You could hang a car from it, if the ship were upside down. <laughs> I don't get it. So what am I missing? Use the hose with... Apparently I can't use it with the pulley. I've already attached it to the bars, so I don't know what what it's asking me to do there. There's nothing down here. I attached the pulley to the... I mean, one would think that you would use the hose with the pulley, right? Oh. Hmm. Okay. A good height for attaching something to the hook. A good height for... So... Oh, so, okay, so we did use the pulley. Here goes nothing. Good lord. Take his head off. Louder than I expected. I hope no one noticed. With luck, I'll be able to warn the others about the doctor before it's too late.
No. Ugh. Hey, you you all right? <clears throat> that bastard didn't inject the fatal dose. You'll be back on your feet soon enough. But, but, Better take it easy while I. Oh no. I'll be right back. Oh, what? I gotta hunt for the guy now? I can see Legrand in the saloon. I don't think Gebhard would have gone there. Where are you? Oh, hey. Uh, no! Why can't you just leave me alone? Stay there. Just relax. Why can't you just leave me alone? It is always the same old story. What old stories? I am a decent man. Why are you torturing me? I just... I... I loved her. She betrayed me. It was her fault. I have blood on my hands because of her. Who? Oh. Are you talking about the Baroness? She... She was her sister. I loved her. With all my heart. They were Jewish, you know? But I didn't care about that. I hid them when it became dangerous for them. I looked after them. I brought them food. I was a party member. And still, I hid her and her whole family. You risked your <clears throat> life for a woman you loved. And 30 years later, you murder her sister? I saw her swollen belly. I was so angry. He was one of them, you know? They just used me. I hid them, brought them food, and in return they laughed about me behind my back. What did you do? There are Jews hiding in the basement of the Waldhof. Armed Jews. We have to burn them out. <sighs> and that's what they did. You had the whole family killed? I am a gentleman. And I expect that others... That... That they... They, they don't... She didn't love you. And was expecting a child by another man. And that's why you betrayed her. It... It, it was her fault. She shouldn't have cheated on me. I... I... I saved her. <sighs> I risked my life for her every day for for four months. And then you threw it all away and became a murderer. I am not. I am. That's messed up, dude. Come down from there. Why? So you can kill me? I'm not going to kill anyone. Or pack me off to an Egyptian prison? Or an Israeli prison? No. And why did you become a murderer again after all these years? I had never met her. Back in East Prussia, she was the older sister, the smart sister. She studied art history in New York, tried to get her family out of East Prussia, but I was able to prevent that. You say you loved her, and yet you wanted to deny her and her family a safe life. They were safe. I protected them. It was for their sake that I joined the party. I had contacts. 
I wrapped them in my protective embrace. You didn't let her escape because you wanted to keep her close to you. She sent photos to her sister before the war. She must have recognized me yesterday in Venice. I certainly recognized her. The Baroness was searching through her photos. That's true. She couldn't get me during the war. And after the war, I disappeared. Gave myself a new name, a new resume, a new life. And then, suddenly, there she was. About to ruin everything. So, she had to die. <clears throat> I didn't want that. But she gave me no choice. Why did she have to stir up old ghosts? All, all right now. No. It ends. Here and now. Why do you want to kill yourself? Isn't it obvious? He can't bear his false, hollow life anymore. Who are you? What do you want? A man who understands etiquette and honor, and yet is nothing but a coward himself. Who, because of wounded vanity, burdens himself with immense guilt. Don't come any closer. The Baroness held a mirror up to you, didn't she, Doctor? And you hated what you saw there. So you smashed the mirror. But the sins of the past are catching up with you now, aren't they? No. A skull with empty eyes full of fear. Stop it. Oh, dear. You really know how to dampen the mood. I almost had him. And you? Aren't you supposed to follow orders? Are you not here to assist me? I won't. That wasn't a question. I don't want any dead bodies. The same old story. You want success, but you don't want to get your hands dirty. Isn't the Raven famous for that? I do what's necessary. No! No, no! What is it then? You wanted to jump anyway, or you should at least. Inch! I'm just lending a friendly hand. He's a coward. He needs a bit of motivation. Come on now, chop, chop, jump! You are the Baroness's butler, aren't you? I... I did not want to kill your mistress. Oh, 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 nonsense. Forgiven and forgotten. If you don't mind my asking. There must be another solution. Why are you doing this? Nothing personal. Well, that's not entirely true. You're a miserable excuse for a human being, aren't you? But mainly, you're a means to an end. Your death will get Inspector Legrand off our backs. The Inspector? What do I have to do with him? Your letter. The one in which you confess to being the Raven and to killing the Baroness because she saw through your ruse. <laughs> That's absurd. Indeed it is. But people will believe almost anything if it suits them. The press will love it. Bold Inspector Legrand saves the day again. Interviews, medals, urgent telegrams from the capital. Our dear friend won't be able to escape the limelight. And by the time the commotion has ended, I'll be long gone. Huh. <clears throat> so do we let him live? Or no alternative but to get him... Shoot him. Well, uh, I don't think we're as heartless as Inch. You can't kill him. Why not? He's a bastard, his death will help us, and he's a witness. If we let him go, we'll both go to jail. All the same, we're not going to kill him. You got us into this situation. And as long as I'm alive, I won't let anyone be killed in my presence. No. Damn. I have to do the dirty work for you in the museum, so you won't be shooting me or him. Very well, you win.
What? Oh, never speak to me like that again. Do you understand? I need you to steal the eye, but one day I could be overwhelmed by a feeling of hatred that will make me forget the eye. And there are worse things I could do than simply shoot you. I suggest you go back to your cell. You need to be fit for Cairo. I still have a confession to write. Hmm. The last act. The end of the Raven. Part of me wants to abandon the whole plan and go back to Europe. What if something goes wrong and Legrand catches on? I couldn't bear it if something happened to her. I can't afford to slip up. Mr. Jamal, I'm glad you could make it. Let's get this over with. Still angry on account of the good doctor? You disgust me. You'll be rid of me in less than two hours, and I of you. What happens next? My diversion worked wonderfully. The press has laid siege to the French embassy, and Legrand won't be able to escape them. He should arrive in a few minutes with the safe, and then he'll have to answer ridiculous questions from reporters all afternoon. That's why we're striking now. A regrettable necessity. I would have preferred to make my grand entrance this evening at the gala. But yes, we will strike as soon as the safe is in the treasure chamber and Legrand has left. Have you already met your Mr. X? He's counting an envelope of unmarked bills as we speak. He put the blueprints under the statue of Imhotep. Blueprints? A sketch of the museum, not the kind you can get just anywhere. This one shows secret entrances, basements, and attic rooms that the Resistance used during the war. That's what it was about. Get the blueprints. There's a basement below the treasure chamber. The entrance should be marked on the blueprints. Open it and give me a sign. What's the next step? You'll find out when it's time. But... <sighs> Will there be more deaths here in the museum? If you follow my instructions, no. If people are in danger, I'll call the whole thing off. I don't kill for fun, only when it's necessary. Is it ever really necessary? Sometimes. Revenge, for example. When one has been betrayed. All right, then. I'll pay a visit to Imhotep, and we'll meet in the basement. Good monkey. Oh, and by the way, the museum is closed to visitors until tomorrow. Then how... You'll find a way. I bet the craftsmen are nearby. If not in the museum, then somewhere around here. I bet the craftsmen are... Should be able to hop up there and There's get up to the ladder. There's a tennis ball stuck on the tow hitch. Ah, people do that to protect the hitch and their trouser legs from the grease. Interesting. A fire ladder. Maybe I can get into the museum from the roof. How would I take the tennis ball? Push the van backwards? Oh, okay. Uh, alright. Then maybe we can hop up here to the ledge, scoot along. Come on, weakling. Nope. The handbrake is on. Well, then take the handbrake off.
I hope the owner doesn't come back while I'm tampering with the truck. Craftsmen aren't known for their calm, sympathetic natures. Just do it, dude. Uh, locked. The ladder is too high to reach from here. I guess they expect people to just fall the rest of the way if there's a fire. something in that trash can maybe that can help I have to improvise if I want to get into the museum oh nothing do I need an umbrella in Cairo or could it help me get into the museum hmm A rod like that could be useful. Hmm. I could probably reach the door lock with the rod, but how's it supposed to catch hold? Maybe with a tennis ball. Got it. <laughs> okay, maybe not. The door is closed. And I don't want to break the window. Someone might hear the sound and call the police. I can't use that. So maybe I have to go back to the front of the museum. And I think what we'll do is do that in the next episode. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. And until the next episode, please do take care.